why you might be considering getting a private tutor. Now, in this day and age, there is a lot of opportunities for you to be able to get help. So if you're considering a private tutor, that means all those options are not working out. And typically they're going to be much more available and a lot cheaper than what a private tutor is going to provide. So you're definitely probably struggling. You're pretty frustrated. And I would imagine that the stakes for your grade or passing are going to be pretty high. So let's go and take a look at these benefits of what a private tutor can do for you and what you should look at if you do decide to hire a private tutor. The first thing I love about getting a private tutor is their experience. Now, obviously you can go from a wide range. You can get somebody with very little experience and then you can get like a certified teacher that has been inside the classroom for many, many years like myself, that has a lot of experience with helping students with their math. Now, the benefits to having this experience is they kind of know what to expect, right? When I was a teacher for many, many years, you know, things just kind of got on autopilot. I knew where students were going to struggle and I knew how I could be able to help them out at certain parts throughout the curriculum. A qualified tutor is gonna be exactly the same, except they're personalized just for you. They're gonna be able to identify the gaps or the misunderstandings that you're just not getting and they're gonna be able to focus on that. That is extremely powerful because one thing we all know is inside of a classroom, you're not always going to get the specialized attention. And sometimes you do need a little bit more specialized attention to really make sure you can understand a certain concept or problem. Thing also I like about it, sometimes as a teacher, we can kind of get a little long winded, right? We kind of have this grand idea of how we're going to teach things and what we're going to do. Well, the tutor has a limited time, right? You know, typically you have like 30, 45, you know, 60 minutes, like we got to move on. So while in tutoring, I want to make sure you understand the concept and can do that. I also want to make sure I can get quickly to the point because we don't have, you know, five days a week to be working together. So I also want to get us from point A to point B in a very quick and efficient manner. That's a good benefit of having a private tutor. Now, the next benefit is pretty obvious, but you know, when you're dealing with a tutor, you can kind of schedule them when it's going to work for your schedule, right? So you can set aside time in the evenings or on the weekends, whatever used to work. Like when I was a teacher, I would tutor sometimes in the evenings and also tutor on the weekends. Like it fit with my schedule and it also fit with the schedule of the students. But what I like about this most is not so much that like you can schedule it when you want to schedule it, like duh. The point that I want to make though is you can create consistency. And I think that's very important. Every single time that I had a tutoring assignment, it was always like every Monday, every Sunday, like we set a time and we were consistent. And even if there was something that the students like, I don't need help on this week. Like, you know, I'm not sure if any tutoring, not so much that I wanted money, but I was like, no, no, no. I want to make sure that we are consistent. And if our goal here is at the end of the year to, you know, to get you to pass or get you an A, I want to make sure I can do something that you will still benefit from. And also I wanted to remain consistent because being consistent is a huge part of that. And the best part of actually having a tutor is you get to feel stupid. Now listen to what I mean by this. You're paying the tutor right? It's not your teacher. It's not your friend, right? It's not somebody you really care about how they think about you. Like they know you're struggling, right? They are there to help you. They are there to serve you. Think about it. They are serving you. So when you have those stupid questions in class, you don't want to raise your hand and be like, uh, you know, feel stupid. Cause like, Oh, I don't know the answer. And no, nope, everybody knows the answer except for me. When you have a private tutor, don't worry about that, right? You get to feel as stupid as you want to, because they're the ones that are serving you. You are paying them right? So the dynamic, I think, changes a little bit. And you can be pretty open with your questions and make sure that they are addressing exactly the topics that you know you need better help with understanding the material. All right. Now, hopefully at this point, I like sold you on getting a private tutor because already even myself, I'm like, man, I really want to get some private tutoring. <laughs> I love private tutoring. And a lot of times I still get asked, hey, will you tutor my child? Or hey, can you tutor me? And in reality, guys, I just can't do it. Like my schedule does not work the way that it did back when I was a tutor and a teacher and not married and with no kids and not running a YouTube channel. But there is a lot of amazing people that can help you with your math in being a private tutor. Just because there's people that are willing and able to be a private tutor, I want to caution you, not all private tutoring is the same. And also getting a private tutor might not be the best decision for you. So let's go and take a look at some of the cons of getting a private tutor. And if you ever looked into private tutoring, I think you might agree that sometimes private tutoring can be really expensive. It didn't really take me a very long to kind of go on to a uh, wise and just kind of look for some math tutors. And you can see that, you know, it looks like we have some pretty nice people. Like I like these, um, but man, they can be expensive, right? Now, obviously if you're just looking for like one hour, hmm, depending on what you need, maybe ACT, SAT prep, or like, you know, to pass a test might be worth it. But if you're looking for some like long-term solutions, this could be very expensive very, very quickly, right? So you're gonna have to weigh the price compared to what the benefit to what you're going to get. And to be honest, that's why you can't pay me 
to be your tutor. Because the amount of money that I would have to charge for my time to tutor you is more than I am comfortable for you getting the value in the education I can help you out. So I just don't do it. I just offer my tutoring for free. If you are interested in being one of my students, I do have a free tutoring opportunity at brianmclogan.com forward slash tutoring. But I don't know when you're gonna be watching this video. So if that is something you're interested in, make sure you click on that now because that offer could quickly go away because there are some terms and conditions with it. Tutoring can be very expensive. So depending on what your resources are and how bad you need something, it is the option, but it can be very expensive. And the problem too is like you can get cheaper tutoring, right? But again, you got to look into that experience of the pros of what's going to happen. Now, it's not necessarily you always get what you pay for because there are some amazing tutors that are not going to charge a lot of money. But I will say dealing with experience, having somebody that is an experienced tutor, even if it is a little bit more money, I think it can also provide you a lot of benefit. But again, it comes down to who you are and what kind of tutor that you are looking for. So don't always just be focused on the price. You wanna make sure you find the right tutor for you. That is the most important. Because here's the thing, the second issue is getting a tutor, especially in an experienced tutor, is that they could actually teach you the wrong stuff or teach you stuff that is like what you're not supposed to be learning inside your class. That's why sometimes having somebody that has experienced teaching math or being a teacher can kind of understand, oh, if I'm gonna teach this concept at this grade level, here are the things I want them to know. Here are the things they are supposed to know. And there's nothing worse than having your teacher battle with your tutor and trying to determine who is right, who should be teaching it one way or the other. There's been a couple of times when I was a teacher and students would have private tutors. And I always recommended that students, hey, if you feel like you need private tutoring, you know, students could always stay after school with me and get help. But sometimes, you know, I knew that they needed extra attention. They needed somebody to teach it to them a different way, right? Me saying it over and over again was not sinking in. So please, private tutoring can definitely help. But on a couple of students, they got a tutor that, you know, might've been referenced, you know, to them and might've had some experience. But the problem was the teaching, they didn't have an educational background. They might've been an engineer or, you know, have some computer science. They knew math. But the problem was the way that they were teaching the material is they were teaching them in the way that they knew it, which was actually going in a kind of completely different direction, the way that I needed them to be learning the material. And the reason being is because I was teaching it in a certain manner. So therefore in the next chapter, in the next chapter, we are going to build on it. But what the tutor was doing was focusing on like some tips and some tricks to get them to the answer quickly, which was going to help them on that immediate test. But then once we got into more advanced problems in my own course, they were going to be stuck. It was a constant battle back and forth and I saw it time and time again. I'm not a big proponent of tips and tricks and especially when it comes to a tutor. I like how tutoring can help you get directly to the point with math, but if you're only focused on the tips and the tricks, beware of the tutoring that you are getting. And last thing I wanna say about, you know, getting private tutoring is, you know, it can be tough. Like when I would do every Sunday night or every Wednesday, you know, every Monday or whatever may be the case, you know, a lot of times, obviously help is going to come into in between times. Now, now I like to be pretty flexible. So i had always gave the students, you know, my number and said, Hey, if you have, you know, something that comes up, like, feel free to text me. No big deal. I'm more than happy to help. And we can always talk about it a little bit more during our tutoring assignment. And obviously that only happened a couple of times, but there are students that would be like, they constantly needed 24 seven help. And obviously that's just not going to be feasible when you're dealing with a private tutor. So obviously technology has come a long ways. There's a lot of now chatbots and AI where you can message people and get help instantly. So that is a great alternative to private tutoring where you can get on demand help. But I do want to warn you, those are not always going to be the best solutions for actually understanding the information. They are great a lot of times for getting the help that you need in an instant. So if there's one thing that I can say throughout this whole video is all tutoring is not the same. It's like dating. You do got to try out your tutors and don't feel bad. Do an initial consultation with a tutor. And if you don't feel like they gave you the value or if you had a great connection with them of like understanding how they're explaining things, then you can go your separate ways. I am not the best teacher for every student. That is completely okay. There should be no hard feelings. But I do think that you owe it to yourself if you are looking into getting a private tutor to get a couple tutors and try them out. See how they compare and contrast with each other. And don't feel amazing if you're like, I now have a tutor, I'm, I'm saved. Because that's not the case. No matter who you choose for a tutor, you need to know this. Your success in math with or without a tutor does not depend on a tutor. It depends on the work that you are willing to put into it. I told students this all the time. When we would have a tutoring session, I'd say, all right, I'm gonna see you next week. You have to be putting in the work until next session. Otherwise, you know, all we're doing is a quick little help session and you're not going to get better. So with a tutor or without a tutor, you have to put in the work. And guess what, guys? There's going to be struggles in your learning. 
That's a part of the learning process. So once you kind of get to an impasse, once you start to struggle and you might feel that you need a tutor, feel free to go and check it out. But I don't want you to just always jump to like, I have to have a private tutor. Math is not designed to be alone. Find a maybe a tutoring lab, find a group of people that you can work with. And if the stakes are high and you have the resources, then yeah, private tutoring can be an excellent option if it is right for you. And remember, if you're looking for a free tutoring opportunity with myself, then go to brianmclogan.com forward slash tutoring.